there will be consequences for anyone who makes a threat against a school. That is the message tonight from the Muskegon County prosecutor to parents and students. It follows the arrest of a student from Grand Haven who authorities say made a threat against Mona Shores High School. 13 on your side's Micah Cho talked with that prosecutor and an expert on school threats on why this keeps happening and the consequences the suspects face. We have a felony level charge we can think of. We have a misdemeanor charge we can think of. Certainly, if it rises to the level, we can consider asking the court to treat a, a young person like an adult. The 16-year-old Grand Haven High School student who allegedly made a threat against Mona Shores High School isn't being charged as an adult. However, his charge is still very serious. That's according to Muskegon County Prosecutor DJ Hilson. He's facing a one-year misdemeanor of threat against a school. You're essentially putting your future, your destiny in the hands of individuals who are trained professionals, but are gonna be making the decisions as to what happens next. On Thursday, investigators in Muskegon County were made aware of a threat against Mona Shore students that was allegedly slated to happen in November. Hilson couldn't go into too much detail in the case because the student is a minor. However, he says law enforcement was able to detain the suspect without having to close school. I guess as you're sitting there right now, you have to decide, is it worth it? And I'm gonna tell you right now, the answer to that question is no. This case, only one of several other threats made to school districts across West Michigan this school year, including Comstock Public Schools, the Three Rivers District, Granville Public Schools, and Byron Center. Tom Chiz is the founder and CEO of Armored One, a security company for school districts. While it's not known how the Mona Shores threat was made or how investigators found out, he says threats against schools and students increase after a school shooting, like the one that killed four in Georgia earlier this month, and adds social media may be to blame. But when it's at the top of the news media feed, we end up seeing at the top of social media feeds, your Instagrams, your Facebooks, and more likely your Snapchats and things like that. So when the kids are seeing it, they're playing into it. They're looking for attention, they're looking to show off, or they are looking to make a threat and they wanna become a known name. So they're making these threats. Micah joins us from the newsroom now. And Micah, what is DJ Hilson's advice to parents? Well, Julia, he told me parents need to continue to talk with their kids and explain the consequences of their actions. He adds he's planning on making a tour across Muskegon County Schools to share his message with students sometime soon. Micah, thank you.